Hello and welcome to Everyday DIY. I'm Gavin. Today we're going to be making this fella. It's a ping pong ball gun. It uses an elastic as the propeller. So stick with me and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just draw out the design. So I've looked at pictures online and that kind of gave me the idea, but I still had to work out the actual sizes and stuff like that. So I spent a good 20 minutes just going through the design and changing things and marking it out. So this is the final design and all the dimensions. So it's easy for you to copy. Now that I have the design down, I just have to go through and cut the gun out on the scroll saw. This is Tomaso's first cut on a scroll saw. I drilled out the hole slightly small so that I could sand it out. I wanted to get a nice perfect fit so I wouldn't have to use anything to hold the balls in there. They're just held in by themselves. Here I am just sanding it out with the multi-tool. That's a little flap wheel that I'm using on the multi-tool. So I'm just cutting out the little space at the front for the T-piece. Just shorten it down now. Just sand it down the pieces here so that they're nice and smooth so I can continue gluing stuff together. This is not the final sand, it's just the sand to get all the rough edges off. So here I am marking the center so that I can get the T piece in the perfect um, alignment. Just using some wood glue here and then I'm going to use the nail gun just to put a staple in there as well while the glue goes off. I'm just marking the holes now for where the little eye bolts will go. They'll be the pieces that the elastic band ties onto. These are the little eye, eye bolts, you can pick them up in most hardwares. I'm just using a two pack glue to glue on the bit for the scope. I'm just using the nail gun to hold it down. I'm doing the same with the clothes peg. I'm just using a two pack glue to hold it on. This is my first test with the elastic to see how it holds up. And it doesn't. So I'm gonna have to use some nails to hold it on instead. I'm just going to drill a couple of pilot holes here so that I don't split the peg. I'll just hammer in some nice small nails then. So as you can see it's holding up much better this time. I'm just going to take a few practice shots here with it to see how I get on. I do some slow-mo too. So as you can see it's shooting fairly straight. except for that last one. So now that I know that it's working, I'm gonna take it back apart so I can paint it. So I'm just gonna give it a rub down with some sandpaper, just round off some of the edges and make the handle a bit more comfortable. I'm just gonna give it a couple of coats of matte black. This is just ordinary aerosol that you'd spray like a car or anything like that with. Now that it's all nicely painted, I can put it back together again. Now I get to have some fun shooting at my targets.
These are just some still shots from different angles, give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see, we're all finished there now. It turned out really well. It launches the balls quite far. It's great for tag practice and stuff like that. Um, the kids can also shoot each other with it, which they inevitably will do. Um, it doesn't hurt, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.